sunset over Kenya's coast. And that means it's time to get down. For decades, Mombasa City has been known as the cradle of Kenyan pop. And it all dates back to the mid-19th century by the arrival of the first Anglican missionaries. This right here was the first church to be built in East and Central Africa back in 1846. To this other end is the second church built in 1887 to cater to the growing number of congregants coming to church every single week. Now the truth to the fact is that the point where I stand is a birthplace of both Christianity and modern education, of which now music was an integral part because Anglican liturgy depended so much and still does on music and hymns. Just about 100 meters from the church lives Henry Timothy. Now 98 years old and blind, he's but among the last surviving musicians of his time. But age hasn't stolen his chords. <laughs> Little is known about Henry outside Mombasa, but his penmanship is credited for a number of East African hits across the decades. The end of World War II was instrumental in teaching the many Africans that had left to fight alongside the British troops in India and Indochina. When they came back, they brought with them a rich fusion of sounds. In the 60s and 70s, greats like James Brown and Miles Davis were rocking the American pop scene. Thousands of miles away, American tourists were arriving in droves on the Kenyan shore, and their arrival signaled the birth of bands here. Wow! You understand? That was it. When they hear, ah, yeah, you know, like, then, then it's like, we can do it. And that is how, you know, uh, Slim Ali later on came to do, you can do it. Your love keeps taking me That was fresh, that was new. Mombasa Roots is one of the bands that came up in that wave of tourists. Carry their, you know, music system and you hear music on the road so we just make friends with them and we just take the music from them that's that time we could not get the music from uh, internet and all that in the decades that followed kenyan pop grew in leaps and bounds albeit with stiff competition from congolese influences and for a time things may have seemed dull but that was then Decades later, a new wave of pop inspired by these sounds is cropping up. And it's not just in the hip hop, but corporate culture is also taking the cue. But one thing is certain. Kenya's most authentic music is still in the coast, where the heart and soul of pop music float with the waves of the Indian Ocean. Leslie Marungu, CGTN, Mombasa, Kenya.